OK, now thousands of people are making their way to Portsmouth as we speak for an out-of-this-world experience. The BBC's Stargazing Live is back and the city's historic dockyard is one of the live locations for the BBC Two programme this evening. BBC Radio Solent's Alex Dyke is there for us tonight. Of course, the big question is, has the cloud cleared yet? But I think the better question is, is it fancy dress <laughs> and who have you come as, Alex? <laughs> I'm a cross between Buzz Lightyear and Steve Austin, the $6 million man. What do you think? <laughs> I love him. Anyway, look, let's meet some people. Let, let's meet some people here. Over here, I've got Nikki from Newbury. Hi, Nikki. Hello. Uh, thanks very much for coming. This is your homemade telescope. It is my homemade telescope, all made by me. It's fantastic. How much did it cost you to make? Oh, a couple of hundred quid. It looks fantastic, and it's in Doctor Who TARDIS blue. That's great. Have a good night. Thank you very much. And over here, come over here and meet. This is Steve from Banbury, hi. who's got... Hi, Steve. You've got bionic binoculars. Hi, bionic binoculars, yes. And what have you trained them on? I've trained them on the moon. It's a bit cloudy at the moment, but the moon looked really good through them. It's going to clear up later. Steve. Sure Steve, you'll have a good night, I'm sure. And over here, I've met Robert from Reading. Uh, he bought this. Now, this is worth three grand, but he got it on an auction website for only £1,500. And it's got a remote control, Robert. That's right, yeah. It will uh, track a star as the Earth rotates. It will counter-rotate, so keep it in the eyepiece. And so you can you... do all that on a remote control? Yeah, 12-volt batteries, and uh, you can take long exposures of faint galaxies. To... Good, you know... good. You have a good night tonight, and, it, and the weather's Thank OK, you. isn't it? has been up to now. Be positive, Robert, be positive. Now, over here, I found a space comedian, uh, a space comedian, not chameleon, a uh, comedian. Oh, here she is. I couldn't see her in the crowd. This is Helen. Hello, Helen. Hello. Um, space, it's not that funny, is it a subject? Oh, but it is. It's very funny. When you look at all the people who are involved in it, the very eccentric people involved in the history of space exploration and just the weird and wonderful facts about space, it is surprising. Buzz Aldrin? Buzz Aldrin, born to be a space astronaut explorer. I think his mother's maiden name was Moon. And no. Yes, it's true. Right. And he, he is so committed to getting the word out about space that a while ago, when he was in his 70s, he recorded a rap record with Snoop Dogg, or Snoop Lion, as I believe he is now, uh, called The Rocket Experience, which you can find online. I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> now, you are on stage at 7 o'clock. I am, right, which is minutes away. Go <laughs> to infinity and beyond. Oh, Helen, thank you. thank you very much. Thank you. Go on, Helen, go. Thank you. And, and here we are. The, the weather is much better than we thought. There are thousands of people all over the historic dockyard, um, and uh, we are just keeping our fingers crossed that there are no showers. So, Sally, hopefully uh, you and the gang back at base are going to give us a very positive weather forecast. Well, we can only hope so. Yeah. Do you know, we just actually wondered whether, whether Alex was about to get into a rocket I think he in does. the suit. Yeah. Let's just have a quick look no, at the suit. Are we getting into a rocket and into just, you know, there, fly off? You're looking good, Alex. <laughs> Let's hope it's waterproof, Sally. Let's hope it's waterproof, yeah. Because yeah. the rain now, is I'm just going to say that all the tickets for Portsmouth tonight have been snapped up, so don't go down there, OK? But you can see, of course, Stargazing Live, BBC Two, tonight, tomorrow and Thursday night, starting at 8 o'clock. Definitely worth a watch.